Hey folks, welcome back to the Bulletproof Garage in another episode of Project Brutus. I am still Scott Walters and we're still working on the 7.3 IDI engine. We are hoping for 250 horsepower at the rear wheels, but more importantly, 550 foot-pounds of torque, all right? Now, let's recap a little bit. This is our third IDI engine, by the way, all right? For those of y'all have been paying attention, the first one was the 6.9. That was the original engine for old Brutus, and it was seized. It needed sleeves. It was a hot mess, and we got rid of it. The second engine was the 1994 IDI turbo engine, and the block had been bored 40,000. So we junked the block and we kept the turbo bits, all right, in hopes that we can use them on this engine. So this is the one that I sourced out of that 1988 F350 plow truck, all right? It was a low mile engine and it was still running. So what we're doing in this episode is we started with a complete engine, all right, and we disassembled it down to the bare block. I'll show you how the disassembly went and how we addressed a few of the problems that we ran into. All right, folks, sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Here in the Bulletproof Garage.
All right, folks, we been already running into problems. You see this? This is a washer right here, all right, inside the balancer, um, and that's gonna come out. But it's it's pretty <laughs> it's pretty much rusted, I think, to the uh, to the balancer. So uh, I think I'm gonna have to use a puller to get it out. Um, it's not coming just with regular amount of force. So. I'm gonna use one of these guys, all right? So this is something like you'd use to uh, to pull out a um, pilot bushing or something along those lines. You, as you thread, as you tighten it up, the leg spread. So I just gonna fit that down in there. Now I just go ahead and put the slide hammer on. Easy enough when you got the right tool. So there we go. Now we can proceed to get the harmonic balancer off.
Now, take a look at this oil pan. I mean, it's, it's, it's rough. I mean, just remember, this came out of a truck that was used for spreading salt. And so, it's obviously gotten rusty over the years and it's been repainted Ford blue at some point. And, uh, and it's going right into the trash can. All right, everything looks pretty good under here. Um, so let's go ahead and finish um, with disassembly. Uh, um, to get the pistons and the rods out, um, pretty simple. All right, there's two 12 point nuts on there. Then you get a wooden dowel and you just go ahead and tap the piston down and as you're tapping it down the rod cap will go ahead and release it should all right so there's your rod cap now I've marked all these um, they're also stamped so this one is a P all right these are factory stampings because I've seen them before this isn't a machine shop stamping that because a machine shop is going to stamp one two three you know and so on um, but this is a number seven and number seven apparently gets a P but some of the letters are actually um, duplicated so I've got a Yankee in there so that's Papa's and P and I've got a Yankee in there too, a few of them. All right, you want to watch when you're doing this so that you don't want the rod bolts just cruising down the crank journal. All right. Pistons look pretty nice. All right, I'm going to take my little engraver here. I've got a micro engraver, and I'm just going to put cylinder numbers right next to these letters just so I don't screw this up. <laughs>
get this heavy sucker out now. Okay, folks, let's look at what we got here. You see where the bearing says STD right there? All right, that means it's standard. And also down here, you see there's a date code, March of 1988. And this is a 1988 engine, so as expected, um, it hasn't been messed with. All right, these are the original bearings. They're standard, and hopefully it'll stay standard. All right, and what we've got here is a rod bearing. Same deal, standard, and this one's dated May of 1988. All that lines up, so the crank is standard now. I've got to do a good inspection. Hopefully it stays standard. All right, good news. All right, folks, that is it for this episode. Stay tuned for a lot more content at Old Project Brutus and our 7.3 IDI Turbo build. Now, if you found the video helpful or informative, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. And before I forget, you can always find me on social media in between episodes on Instagram at the.bulletproof.garage and on Facebook at The Bulletproof Garage. All right, folks, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time on The Bulletproof Garage.